Yo, 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 welcome to my tutorial. Actually, to be honest, my past videos haven't been getting enough views, so I decided to change how I look, so I'm wearing differently today. Uh, I don't usually wear this uh, outside, but I'll be wearing for this tutorial right now. Uh, so please like the video and subscribe to my channel for the change of outfit. Uh, so today I will show you how to give glitch effects to your texts in WordPress. It is really easy and fast. All you have to do is copy and paste the code that I will be showing you in the tutorial uh, and make a couple of tweaks to get glitch effects to your text in WordPress. So it's really easy. Let's get started now. All right, now let's jump into the tutorial. Uh, this is the written article of the same tutorial. You can read it in case you don't like watching videos. I will add a link to it in the description of this video. It will be the first link that you will see and you can enjoy on reading. So uh, all we have to do, uh, there are two steps to getting glitch text in WordPress. So the first step is to get the following CSS. This is the entire code copied and pasted it into your website into the additional CSS section of your website. By the way, I don't own the code. This is the owner of the code, Kevin Powell. You can go over there, you can make your customizations to the code and then copy it. Or you can straight copy from my website. It doesn't really make any difference. Uh, go to appearance, customize. Additional CSS. I will also explain the piece of code that's in front of us so you get a better understanding uh, of what's going on rather than just copy and paste it uh, the way I'm doing it. So publish. So this is the first step. And the second part is to actually add the text and the HTML of the text. So add the glitch class to your text. So that's the second step. The first one was adding the CSS and we just did that and then add the glitch effect to your CSS. So we wanted, uh, we want to add it on the home page. So I will be adding a heading in here. Okay. Uh, I will pass the code that I copied from here, from here, the second code. I will change this to be a span because I don't want to give it an H1. Uh, since it's meant to be H2, I can change it from here to be H1. And then I will change the size and the color, of course. I can change it to black. I can change it to anything, of course. There's no limit to what I can change the color to. So this is it, guys. It is this simple to get glitch text. All you have to do is copy the two pieces of code that I just showed you. Now, instead of the welcome, if I'd wanted to write in welcome to my website and then welcome to my website and then I will, I will explain what I'm doing right now. Welcome to my website. So this is it. Uh, it is this simple. You can add in any content, any type of text that you want in here uh, three times and it will happen uh, because the magic requires it to be three times. I'm just kidding because we have three different pieces of codes in here. So in the CSS that we wrote, we defined a new class. We created a new class named glitch. Okay, so it's dot glitch. And in this class, we're defining all these properties and everything that we want it to be. So it's all uppercase. Even if I did, if, even if I write in here lowercase, welcome, it will still be uppercases because that's how it's being changed. Uh, and we're of course animating the content. So let's refresh this page. Let's update this one and then refresh there. And so I can make the changes to the code and then explain what's going on in here. But this was the tutorial. If you want to do it, you can, Stop right here and just change the code if you don't want to understand what's going on. But if you do, then stick with me for another two minutes. I will be short uh, and I will show you how to do that. So we have additional CSS. Of course, you can see that the text is being glitched. And right here, you can see we you have three things to change. So it's basically the color. You can change the color to be, you can either change the color from here. So let's say we change it to white. But because here we haven't changed it to white, we actually set it to black, it will not, it will be overwritten. Uh, but by default, it will be white, okay? And we have the animation. So if I change this to 100, it will be way faster. 
If I change it to 1000, it will be slower than it was when it was 900, okay? So this is the first edit that you can make. And then in the glitch class, we have two childs. So this is the first child and this is the last child. So as you can see, we have the main glitch. Okay, welcome to my, uh, this is the first child. This is the main content and this is the second child, okay? Welcome to my website, welcome to my website, welcome to my website. So we can change the animation of both child as well. So we can make this 200 and you can see that it will be slower, faster, and we can make it 600, which it was. And the second child as well, we can make it to 800 and you can see that some parts will be changed and we can reverse that as well to 300. So these are the main things that you need uh, to change in the uh, in the code itself, in the CSS, so publish. And now I will explain what's going on in here. So I will just show it so you can see that when whenever I remove this part, you can see that the upper part of the animation of the CSS glitch effects is being, has been removed. So once I pass it there, it will be back. And once I remove the main content that has no uh, classes or uh, CSS whatsoever, so it's this one, you will see that the entire text is crashed because that's the main content that we have. The other two are the CSS animations, okay? And now you can see that once I remove the first one, the, uh, the other part of the animation will be removed. And of course, once I remove this, we will have just three, welcome to my website, welcome to my website, welcome to my website, three times. So all that we're doing is giving the content that we're about to write, the class glitch, right and then defining the first uh, child and then the last child and of course the content so we have to write it three times uh, this is the code all you have to do is copy it from my website paste it on your uh, website if you want to have a text a text element it doesn't really matter uh-huh text copy paste you can see that we have it right there. We can change the size. We can change the font. Okay. And we can change the colors, of course. So this was it, guys. This is how you get glitch texts uh, in WordPress and Elementor. This was it, guys. It is this easy to give glitch effects to your text in WordPress. If you found the video valuable, please like it and subscribe to my channel. That really helps. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.